Hey, good morning, Mel. Yeah, that is the question of the hour, but I can tell you a lot of catalytic converters have been found out here. You can see they're just wrapping up this police tape right here. We're here in the Southern Trails neighborhood here in Pearland. These last two homes here right on the end of the street are the ones here part of this investigation. It was uh, that house right there. We watched as police brought out evidence and let me tell you a lot of catalytic converters. Police came out to these homes on Pepper Creek Lane before 6 o'clock this morning. Only ABC 13 was there as police surrounded the homes and asked everyone inside to comply. Some of the people inside the houses were taken into custody and others were not. Sources close to the investigation tell us five people have been arrested so far. Now, a little after that, police started hauling stuff out of the garage. There were a lot of ca cut off catalytic converters. We watched as police wheeled out a whole wheelbarrow full of them. We spoke to a woman who lives here in the neighborhood. She says she was surprised to see all the police and what they were hauling off from her neighbor's garage. This is unbelievable. Um, I came outside, saw the yellow tape, was really thinking the worst. Um, and I see that they have some possibly stolen property. Um, a lot of it, right? Yeah. So that's scary. Um, you see the neighbors every day and just wouldn't think it. No, you just never know. Well, that's not all, though. This morning in Fresno, at a location about three miles away from here, authorities were seen loading pallets onto a sheriff's office trailer. They say those pallets were stacked with catalytic converters. We counted as around 17 pallets were loaded. It was on a property with two homes and a metal building. Those pallets were there inside that building. At this point, we don't know how many catalytic converters in total were recovered. And you know, right now there are still a lot of questions about all of this. Who is involved? As you were saying, Mel, just how big of an operation was this? We know Homeland Security Houston is involved at the other location over in Fresno. We saw Texas DPS as well as the Missouri County Sheriff's Office. We know Pearland Police Department is the lead agency on this, so we are hoping to get more information from them throughout the day. Reporting live here in Pearland, Courtney Carpenter, ABC 13. Eyewitness News. Courtney, what's remarkable is these guys are apparently so organized and able to just kind of do this as a, as a theft ring. I'm going to ask a question that uh, you may not have the answer to, and I apologize in advance, but where do police think all of these were destined to go? Yeah, Mel, right now we just don't know that. So early on in the investigation, seems like more questions and answers at this point. But as to them being so organized, we saw this. It was just last month. There was that uh, big theft ring busted uh, on Lila Street over in Houston. We were yeah. there for that as well. And it's just wild. We know so many people have been dealing with, um, you know, the, the financial burden and just the stress of these being stolen. So when you see just pallets and pallets of them cut off, uh, it is frustrating to see, but uh, a well, a well job. Uh, well done uh, on these investigators for following up. As we do know, it's an organized uh, situation they've got going on here. Yeah, well, let's just hope they get these guys off the streets. Thank you so much for that report, Courtney, and stay dry out there, by the way.